Hey everybody, Anthony Papillon here, and I want to talk to you guys about gold and silver for a moment. Now this is not an ad or anything like that, uh, it's just a personal video that I thought maybe it was time to do because our country obviously is falling apart financially. Uh, in fact, the world seems to be falling apart financially. We've got the financial crisis in Europe that threatens to uh, collapse the euro. We've got the financial crisis here in the United States that threatens to collapse the U.S. dollar. And with all that's going on, it can be a little bit scary, and we, we're left wondering what can we do uh, to fix it? What can we do to protect ourselves so that if the dollar does crash or if the euro does crash, we're not just wiped out like what happened a lot of the 1930s. Like 1930s. Now, one of the things that some people don't realize is that when the Great Depression happened, not everybody was totally wiped out. There were some wise people who had bought gold and silver and other precious metals, and they weren't wiped out. Their assets were protected. And that's really what I think it's going to take now uh, with the coming currency crisis. We're going to have to protect ourselves and protect our wealth and protect uh, our assets um, from total devaluation. Now. Let me explain to you a little bit about what's happening here in the United States. We all see prices going up every day. You go to the grocery store today and a dozen of eggs cost one thing. You go next week and it costs a little bit more. It might be just five or ten cents, whatever, but it's still costing more. And a lot of people think, well, prices are going up, but that's not really true. Prices are remaining fairly, fairly steady. What is happening, however, is that the value of the dollar is going down. And the way that's happening is because basically the Federal Reserve is printing more money. And since that money's not backed by anything, uh, the more money that's in circulation, the less each dollar's worth. And so what happens is, uh, every time that they print more money, your dollar's worth less. In essence, it's stealing from you. It's taking what's in your bank account and taking value from it and making it worth less. Of course, eventually what happens is the dollar is absolutely worthless, nobody wants it, and it buys nothing at all. We see um, a similar situation that developed uh, in the Weimar Republic in Germany, where people were literally having to go to the grocery store with barrels, wheelbarrows, of... Um, of, uh, of money to be able to buy a dozen of eggs or a loaf of bread because they had devalued their currency so much through excessive printing and other other means um, but that's basically what's happening in the United States now we have uh, we have too much money in circulation uh, without anything backing it and so the money's basically becoming worthless now you you probably hear a lot about how gold and silver and uh, other precious metals are skyrocketing in price to a large degree, that's not accurate either. What's happening is they're staying constant. Their price is staying pretty much the same as it was 100 years ago. But the value of the dollar, because it's plummeting, it takes more dollars to buy the same amount of gold. And so where, let's say 60 years ago, you might have been able to buy an ounce of gold for, I don't know, $500, it now is $1,600 because the dollar has devalued that much. So you can see that gold is holding its value. Gold is holding what it's worth. So is silver, so is platinum, so is copper and other precious metals. Um, and that's why it's so important that you put some of your assets in gold, silver, and other precious metal. Now, for everybody, gold is not the answer. I mean, gold, gold costs a lot of money. Now, it's gold $1,600 roughly today, maybe $1,700 today uh, when I record this video. Silver's a lot cheaper. It's $35 to $37 an ounce right now. Um, and but, but whatever you get into, find something you're comfortable with and dump a lot of your money into it. I would say personally, 30 to 60% of your value, 30 to 60% of your money should be stored in gold and silver and other precious metals. Um, you know, keep something to live on, but stash it away because if you, if you don't stash the majority of your money away, um, it's just going to keep going down in value and eventually you're going to find it without value, or worse yet, the total dollar collapse where the dollar's worthless and you can't buy anything with it and we have to start over. The people that are in gold and silver and other precious metals, I always want to say that because uh, I know a lot of people are pushing gold and silver right now and it, it, you know, a lot of people think, well, that's, that's where we need to put our money, but any precious metal will do, um, whether it be gold, silver, platinum, you know, iridium, whatever. Um, that's going to be where you want to put your money. Those people that are invested in gold and silver are not going to have a hard time at all because their money's going to be, their value is going to be held. You know, you sell your gold and silver, you get money for it. it. Might not be American money. You might not be able to get the U.S. dollar because it's worthless. But you'll be able to sell it, or if you can't sell it, you can use it as its own currency. People will always take gold and silver. People will always trade it because it's so valuable. So. 
And what I'm, what I'm making this video to do is I'm making it to encourage you to get out of the U.S. dollar. Now, I know some people are going to say that's anti-American, whatever. I'm out to make sure that you're protected. I'm out to make sure that you understand what's going on. Because and I'm going to do a video another time explaining how they're devaluing the dollar in other ways besides overprinting it. Um, and I'm going to do another video explaining fractional reserve banking and how it devalues the dollar by creating money out of thin air. But none of that's really important right now. Right now, what's important is that you understand the need to get into something hard, to get into a precious metal, uh, something that holds value. So I'm going to suggest that uh, if you're interested in looking into it, uh, go with the company that I trust. And this is not an ad because there are many, many, many gold and silver companies out there and precious metal companies. Um, I use a company called Ampex, A-M-P-E-X. The, uh, the address is right down there right now. Check it out. Prices are pretty reasonable, but they're by far, like I said, not the only company out there. Uh, but find a way to get yourself out of the dollar before it's too late. The crash is coming. It's just a matter of who's going to survive and who's not. And contrary to belief, when the crash does come, you don't have to be wiped out. You can survive it. You can even thrive in a huge, huge currency crisis. It's just a matter of protecting yourself. So thanks a lot. I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, protect yourself because it's coming.